About an hour north of Phoenix, where the saguaro cactus are abundant, is the town of Carefree. It sounds like a place you'd go to check out for a while, or maybe check in with yourself. What's this thing? This is a very ancient symbol of how to come back to one's center. A labyrinth explains Veronica Lynn Clark at the Savannah Wellness Resort. It looks complex, just like mindfulness and all these other things, but it's a very simple pathway to the center. A destination often not easy to access. What if you're afraid of this center? What if you, like, uh, I don't know, this center's got a lot of stuff going on in there. I just, just assume leave that door closed. A lot of people are afraid of it. Yeah. That's okay. Not everybody's going to want to go right to the center. There's a lot of stuff there. Wellness buzzwords, or is there a there here in the desert? Clark describes it as a kind of walking meditation which can be so much more gratifying even for someone who feel frustrated because they can't sit and meditate. Mm. So this is a very simple way to meditate. Labyrinths, or something like them, have been around for 4,000 years. The modern labyrinth movement started at San Francisco's Grace Cathedral in the 1990s. I was at the end of my rope, so to speak, with uh, the AIDS crisis, and I was just burnt out. After careful study and prayer, the Reverend Dr. Lauren Artris thought walking a labyrinth could soothe a troubled soul. This pattern, if you can allow yourself to just drop in, then you get in touch with this whole other level. We tried it there in that sacred space. Maybe you don't quite get it the first time. It was different in Arizona. Part of that is the relaxing. Part of it is just letting go. This is such a beautiful way for people to practice that. The internal noise, often static, dissonant voices within began to quiet. The longer we're out here, yeah. the more I wanted to slow down. Mm. A lot of times people will confuse a labyrinth with a maze. Mm -hmm. The maze is intended to create some confusion. But this labyrinth, if you stay on the path, you're not going to get lost. It's a metaphor, a journey. What do you think the labyrinth might be a pathway to? Inner peace. Since Lauren Artris brought the labyrinth to Grace Cathedral, thousands more have been built across the country. Many at churches, including at the Presbyterian Church on the Green in Bloomfield, New Jersey. Pastor Ruth Bowling and her husband Carlos built a full labyrinth during the pandemic. It has brought them and the community here a path to healing. Every experience is different. Every time I walk the labyrinth, it's a different experience for me, but it's always good. It's not that the labyrinth in and of itself created this experience. You allowed yourself to have the experience by walking through. You can still walk mindfully, peacefully, and still experience the peace inside of you. So it's portable. Yes. Hey, you, oh, she's so a great cool. teacher, Veronica yeah. Clark. I mean, superstar. This book written by Archer, Miss Artrist from the Grace Cathedral, so interesting. And honestly, oh. you kind of do a little homework first. Yeah. You've been on a labyrinth. I've been on. I, I love it. I, it's so soothing, and it just it just quiets everything. Why don't yeah. we build one on the plaza? Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> you could put one right in here. So okay. Cool. It makes a lot Thank of sense, you, especially if meditation is hard for you to do mm -hmm. a little movement yeah. with it. Harry, Very cool. you're the best. Cool. Third hour Very today. Cool. Right back after this. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.